Hi, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and the guitar I've got here is a new Taylor 814 CE Deluxe. Now, Taylor's 814 has been one of the most popular guitars in Taylor's lineup. Uh, it's been a, a longtime favorite of many musicians in different styles. And a couple of years ago, uh, Taylor started making the deluxe version of the 814 CE, uh, which offers the miniature uh, arm bevel. It's a slightly smaller version than the standard Taylor arm bevel. It's got some upgrades, uh, such as Goto 510 tuning machines on here. So a uh, few little tweaks over the standard 814 CE, uh, but now the guitar also features Taylor's new V-Class bracing. The V-Class bracing, of course, was introduced earlier this year, initially on just four models. Uh, but all along, Taylor has uh, promised that uh, the new bracing would find its way into standard Taylor models. And that time has come. So while earlier uh, 814 CEs had the standard X bracing, uh, the new V-Class bracing um, really follows a uh, basic V shape uh, on the internal structure of this. Uh, there's two braces that start on both sides of the sound hole and go all the way down here to the end block uh, in what's a V shape. That's how the bracing got its name. Uh, there are some braces in the lower bout here as well, as well as um, cross braces uh, right on both sides of the sound hole. Taylor's promising that V-class bracing basically leads to more of everything. Uh, more volume, more dynamics, um, a richer sound all around. Um, and because the guitar is so much more balanced, it even impacts uh, like things like intonation, which is something that we usually don't think about uh, bracing having an impact on. But of course, uh, the guitar really is a whole that all works together. And uh, Taylor's done a lot of research and has done a great job uh, really kind of improving the existing Taylor tone with this new V-Class technology. So like earlier 814 CE Deluxes, uh, this guitar is built with a Sitka spruce top. It has Indian rosewood back and sides. Um, it's got uh, maple binding. Um, I already mentioned the armrest bevel, uh, which really makes the guitar very comfortable to hold, even though this is a smaller design than the, uh, the larger bevel that the Taylor also offers. The guitar has an ebony fingerboard and bridge. And um, as Taylor has been doing with uh, some of the higher end guitars, uh, they're trying to use some pieces of ebony for the fingerboard that has a little character in it. And in this case, you can see some lighter brown streaks right up here in the, uh, above the, the 12th fret. And uh, that really leads a nice sort of unique signature to each one of these guitars. Uh, the inlay in this guitar uh, is called the element inlay. Um, it's in the uh, face of the fingerboard. Of course, there's also dots on these sides that serve as position markers. Like other um, 800 Deluxe uh, tailors, the guitar has the wooden pickguard. That's a very uh, nice touch. And I already mentioned the Goto 510 Deluxe tuners, uh, which have a 21 to 1 tuning ratio, so very precise tuning, uh, very kind of modern uh, look with these, uh, the shape of these buttons, and uh, very uh, highly thought of tuner. Now, from the outside, this guitar um, would be hard to distinguish from a pre-V-Class 814 uh, CE Deluxe, uh, but there are a couple of elements uh, that if you see one in the shop or uh, see someone playing them, uh, where you can tell that it is indeed the new version of this guitar. For one thing, it has a black nut. All the new V-Class uh, tailors have a black nut rather than the white nut that uh, earlier models used. And if you look at the label of the guitar, it has uh, Luthio Andy Power signature on it uh, with Bob Taylor's uh, name and signature sort of being superimposed behind it. And that is another way how you can tell uh, that the guitar you're looking at is the new V-Class version of the 814 CE Deluxe rather than the previous uh, X-Braced version of the guitar. All of Taylor's grand auditoriums are known for their versatility. Uh, you heard me play the guitar fingerstyle. A lot of fingerstyle players um, have really found the 814 series to be a great guitar for them. Uh, but there are also a lot of people playing uh, these guitars that strum uh, or play lead guitar on them. Uh, so just to get an idea of a different tonality of it, uh, let's also listen to Peghead Nation's Scott Nygaard playing the guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
Like most Taylors, the 814's E Deluxe includes uh, Taylor's own electronics. It's the ES2 system, ES standing for expression system. Uh, the system uses three piezo elements that are mounted behind the saddle and the bridge. Uh, there's an onboard preamp with, which, with controls for volume, um, bass, and treble. And there's a battery compartment in the back of the guitar as well, of course, the output jack. Uh, let's listen to what the system sounds like plugged into a Fishman uh, Loudbox Mini Charge. <laughs> So definitely a great plugged-in sound, even if I'm digging in a little bit harder with my uh, right-hand attack, uh, still offers a natural acoustic sound. And that's really been the case for all of the ES2 systems that we've had a chance to uh, try out uh, here in our various uh, Taylor demos on Peckhead Nation. So overall, the 814's E Deluxe is uh, definitely a wonderful continuation of the 814 legacy. It's uh, one of the uh, longest running and most popular models in Taylor's lineup, and uh, between the deluxe appointments with the arm bevel and the upgraded tuners, uh, the maple binding, uh, and of course the new um, V-class bracing, uh, it definitely takes the uh, 814 concept uh, sort of to the next level uh, with great tone, uh, great looks, and uh, continuing the versatility and just really a strong performance all around that this model has been known for. So these latest V-Class versions of this model are making their way to dealers, so check them out for yourself. And uh, please come back here to Packard Nation for more of our gear demos. My name is Taya Gurken.